What's up guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli, aka the Wing King, aka the Prince of Lemon Pepper. Yeah, I just need to say that just in case y'all forgot. I know I be throwing some other recipes out there, but I still the Prince of Lemon Pepper. Now, it's that time of the year, guys, where the temperature is dropping, so them crock pots need to come out and those recipes need to start appearing. So I got a good crock pot recipe for you guys today. I'm gonna show you how to make slow cooker shrimp boil. Man, I love me a good shrimp boil. Being from Mobile, Alabama, you can find a seafood spot that serves these shrimp boils, man, all day long. And I'm telling you, I was always hitting them up. Guys, you're gonna love this one here. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe, guys. Let me tell you what we have. We have uh, some shrimp right here. Um, we're gonna use some corn, fresh parsley. Right here I have some um, small potatoes. They didn't have any red potatoes where, I, where, I, where I'm at right now, so I'm gonna use these small uh, potatoes here. Really doesn't matter. You can use red potatoes or these type, or regular russet potatoes if you want to, or the golden Yukon, it just all depends. It's all the same. Um, hot sauce, garlic, a lemon, onion, some Old Bay seasoning, some bay leaves, and some andouille sausage. So guys, these are the ingredients. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've measured out the ingredients. Let me tell you what we have. I'm gonna break it down to you. So right here, I have about 13 ounces of uh, sliced sausage, andouille sausage. I cut them in about one inch pieces. I have three ears of corn. I, I took each ear of corn and sliced it into three pieces. Right here, I have about a pound and a half of uh, potatoes and I just chopped them, uh, cut them up really, real small like this. Right here I have about a pound and three quarters of shrimp, have a tablespoon of lemon juice, I have one garlic clove, I halved it. Right here I have a fourth of a cup of Old Bay seasoning, I have a tablespoon of hot sauce, three bay leaves, and here I have two small onions quartered. Now if you have one of those medium onions, um, they are a big onion. You could just use one of those and just quarter it that way. But these are real small onions, so I used uh, two of them. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our boil mixture. So what we're gonna do is gonna take our hot sauce. Now, I do have six cups of water here, so let's, um, I wanna be clear about that. We have six cups of water here. Add our hot sauce, our lemon juice, and our seasoning, Old Bay seasoning. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get that mixed up like this. Now, if you have a crab boil, only thing you, you don't have to put this seasoning, you can just use your crab boil and add it to the water. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to um, move this aside and we're gonna go ahead and continue. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to take our potatoes and we're gonna add them here to the bottom of our crock pot. Next, we're gonna add our onions here. Next, we're gonna add our garlic cloves, or half garlic, not the, well, they're cloves, but the half garlic, we're gonna add them in here. And now we're gonna come back over with our shrimp boil, and we're gonna pour it inside our crock pot, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my lid, place my lid on top, and we're gonna set the timer to this on low, and we're gonna cook it for three and a half hours. All right, guys? and I'll be right back in three and a half hours. Oops, guys, I forgot to add the bay leaves. Let's put our bay leaves in there, our three bay leaves. All right, now close it back, and we'll be right back. All right, so now we are three and a half hours in. Let's pull this off and take a look at what we have. Mmm, it smells good, too. I'm gonna check and see if those uh, potatoes are, yeah, they don't have to be totally soft because we still got a little bit more cooking time, but they need to be almost soft. Let me get one of these out of here, check it. Yeah, okay. So that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our sausage in here. When we have about um, 13 and a half ounces of sausage. And what we're gonna do now while we're adding this in, I've already done it, but go ahead and start turning your heat up to high. While you add your sausage, your corn, All right, so we're gonna let that 
cook for 30 minutes on high. And then once we do that, we'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna cover this up. All right, so we are 30 minutes in with our corn. So let's remove our lid. Guys, it's getting better and better and better right as we speak. So what we wanna do now is we're going to remove our corn and we're just gonna sit it aside and keep it warm. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna sit this aside, make sure you keep it warm. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding our shrimp. Now I want you guys see what I did with my shrimp now. I left the shell on, but I did um, devein it. I mean, I like to, I can't put, I can't eat those shrimp with that black strip in the back, guys. I have to put, I have to devein my shrimp. I just can't do it. Uh, especially, I used to do it when I was young until I found out what it was or what somebody told me was, and then I just couldn't eat it no more. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and um, put these shrimp in. I don't even wanna think about that. We're gonna go to eat, throw these shrimp in there. We're gonna also cook these for um, 30 minutes on high. And you want, you want to cook them till that pinkish color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this back closed up. I'm gonna let this cook for on high heat for uh, 30 minutes. All right, I'll see you guys in 30. And guys, you want to make sure throughout this 30 minutes, you give it a, a good mix too. You want to make sure you're mixing it up in here. All right, so as you can see, we're turning that pink color, but it's not cooked thoroughly yet, so gonna let it sit back in. It's only been about, mm, about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna probably stir it one more time within this uh, 30 minutes. So probably another 10 minutes I'll stir it and then close it back up and then we'll just uh, be finished after that last 30 minutes. All right guys, so we're going to add our corn back. We are at the 30 minutes of our shrimp being in here. If you take a look at it, we are there. Take a look at our shrimp. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our corn back to our mix. And the reason I did that is because you didn't want to really overcook the corn. Um, but we're going to get that back in here, get it mixed in there for about another five minutes or so, maybe two to three minutes. Just get it all back in there, mixed well. And then after that, man, we'll be right back. We're going to finish up and we're going to check this baby out. All right. All right. So we are back after five minutes and we are done. Guys, take a look at this, what we have. Man, look at that shrimp boil there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, how about if we add a little, little parsley to it? What do you think? You know, that fresh parsley gives it a little color. And let me throw us a couple of lemons in there. Kinda make the thumbnail look presentable. All right, guys. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna, matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it in a bowl and then I'll be right back. And there you have it. Slow cooker shrimp boil. Guys, growing up in the South, especially in Mobile, Alabama, which we're in close proximity to New Orleans, we always had these shrimp boils and I love them, guys. You can find many places in Mobile where they serve this just like this, guys. It is delicious. Guys, it's easy to make, few ingredients, dump them all in a slow cooker. After three, four hours, you are good, guys. So the measurements and ingredients all will be in the video description below, so check it out. Guys, go pick up that ebook, Down Home Foods. I appreciate everybody who has supported me and bought the ebook. Also, guys, get that All Wings Everything merch, and let's go ahead and get into quality control because I am ready. Let's go. All right, guys, so now it's time for quality control, man. Listen, I can't hold this bowl up now because it's really, really hot and it's big. Guys, I can't, look at that. I can't hold it up too much because it's hot. It's very, very hot. And I'm not finna drop this because I got to eat it. All right, so what I typically like to do is I like to start off with me, my corn. Now take, look at that, man. Because I like to make sure that my corn has that flavor of the, the boil in it. Oh, I just, I, that's just me. I like to do it, guys. Also I, with me, I got my Louisiana hot sauce. Oh yeah, we still dash a little Louisiana on it, but I'm gonna bite into it like this right now. Mm-hmm. The corn has that Old Bay flavor. It's juicy too, it's keep, I bite into it, you see the juice coming down. Mm. All right, I'm gonna set that aside because I need to go to the next thing. I didn't even bring a fork, but hey, we'll be okay. Now my potatoes. Potatoes are hidden. They're soft. 
like you want them, not mushing. Mm. Flavoring the potatoes too. Now, the sausage. Man, I love andouille sausage. It has some heat to that uh, andouille sausage, man. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, our shrimp. Sit that over there. Mm. All right, what can you say about shrimp? Man, I tell you. And guys, you can add more stuff to your, I mean, it's a shrimp boil, so of course you need shrimp, but typically when you have, you know, seafood boil, if you want to turn this into a seafood boil and add your, you know, add some other stuff. I know some people use, uh, add chicken to it, you know, whatever type of meat, even fish, lobster, crab is one, yeah. I mean, you can turn it into whatever you want to turn it into, but this right here is a shrimp boil. Guys, right, this is good. Mm. So, guys, you gotta try this. And thank you for supporting the channel. Pick up that ebook. Until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything. And yes, I am out. Peace.